Hey guys, I'm Dr. Henry Cloud, and I want to take a moment here to give a simple definition of the word boundaries. Now, it's a word we hear a lot. It's all over the culture. It's, you know, gets thrown around here and there. Maybe you've never heard of it. You've probably been living under a rock if you've never heard the word. But we throw it around, and a lot of times you kind of get confused. What, what is this boundary stuff about? I want to give my favorite definition of what boundaries are all about. A boundary, pure and simple, is a property line. It's a property line. When you think of your house or your apartment, whether you rent or own, there's a property line that does something. It defines your property. What is yours versus what is your neighbor's? Okay, and there's a line there. Now what a boundary does, once it defines that property, it gives us three really important things that we have to have in order to thrive. Number one, it tells you who's in control of that property, okay? It's your house, it's your apartment, you have legal control of it, right? You can decorate it how you want, there's stuff, your neighbor can't come over and say, well, I don't like the color, I'm gonna paint your living. No, they can't, that's yours, you control it. Number two, you have freedom to do what you want to do. You have choices. They're not, you know, somebody else can't dictate. Not only can they not do to your property what they want to do, you get to do what you want to do with your property. You have freedom to do what you want to do. And the third thing is, because freedom always equals responsibility, that you're responsible for that property. So you own it, and what you find on it, what you're tolerating, what you're getting, that's your responsibility. Now this is an amazing concept, because when we take it away from the physical space and talk about your life, your life, a boundary defines you, defines your life what you're in control of, and nobody else can. They, they don't get to control what you think and what you feel and what you're going to choose to do and what your talents are going to be and how you're going to exercise them. No, that's you. you get to, they can't violate those things. That's a foul. That's a trespass. Number two, you have the freedom to decide all those things. And that control thing, that piece of control in there, you're in control of your feelings. You're in control of your choices. You're in control of how you invest your talents. They don't get to do that. And then thirdly, you're responsible for it. Nobody's gonna do it for you. So when we start to figure out, wait a minute, this is my life. I own it, I'm in control of it. Nobody else can tell me how to live it unless I give them permission to. Now, we're starting to be able to build a house we wanna live in. Your house is your, your soul, right? You, your body, the boundaries of your skin. People can't violate that. That's not okay. Can't violate your head. They can't violate your heart unless we invite them in. Now, that's the other thing about boundaries. Boundaries are not walls, okay? You have a house. You got a door. That's a boundary. But it opens and it closes. You get to figure out when you want to answer the door, who you want to open the door to. If a robber's out there, you close the door. See, boundaries keep the bad stuff out and protect the good stuff that's in, but they open the door to do an exchange. We got trash in, we can open up and we can talk about our pain to somebody. We can, we can get the stuff out of our life that we don't want. And also we can open the door because sometimes somebody rings that doorbell and that's a FedEx package with a gift to you. Support and encouragement and love or whatever. But if we're in control, we look through that peephole and we say, who am I going to trust and who am I going to not? We can open that door and we can close that door. Now, that's a boundary. And what we do in Boundaries.me, which is the coaching program we have where you come join us, is over the course of time, I become your coach and talk about all these different concepts and give you tips and tactics and also, you know, ways to do this. How do I have that difficult conversation to set boundaries? What do you do when that, that person tries to control you? What do you do when you say no and then they get angry at you? Is there a way to calm them down and get them back on your side or not? And it's, it's just all that stuff we need to know. But secondly, 
It's a community of other people that are on the path. I love our Boundaries.me community because what they do is they, they, they put their issues up there, their questions or what they tried and what worked. Other people look at it and, they, oh, that's how you talk to your drunk Uncle, Uncle Harry at a, at a party or that's how you avoid getting controlled by this person. That's how you deal with an addict or that's how you create thriving. And they share such a strong community. I want you to be a part of it. So go to Boundaries.me and take a look, sign up, okay? See you next time.